Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and in today's video, I will share a anti-haul with you. This is the first type of anti-haul video I have made and I probably got inspired by my friend here on YouTube, Mary from Lumi Level Up. I will link her channel down there in case you're looking for a really relatable person to watch here and you haven't seen her channel yet. But anyway, so she has been making a few of these videos of like, uh, what she bought, what she resisted, and so on. And I did realize that I have resisted quite many things during the past even like month or so. Like I've been on a roll of wanting to buy something, I guess, because the list is quite long. And I thought as to balance out the unboxings and things that I have bought and, and all of that, I want to share some things that I actually didn't buy, but did consider heavily um, and I'm not saying that something couldn't happen <laughs> um, at some point that I might end up buying something out of these, but at least for now, um, I, I didn't. So I basically, I had some of them even on my cart, but I didn't. So I wanted to, to share them with you. And obviously if you have some experience of any of these items, feel free to leave me a comment either recommend or congratulate me for <laughs> leaving all of them behind. But um, I guess that's enough rambling and let's go. The list is actually quite long and I was a bit surprised that I'm also a bit scared that I did forget about something that I was dreaming about and looking for and making research and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it could be, but the list is already quite long and uh, yeah, let's go. It's a mixture of, I would say, handbags as well as accessories and the biggest part to blame with this is matches or formerly known as matches fashion because they are undergoing some financial troubles i'm guessing or that's at least what i have read and uh, i before like loved shopping on matches fashion i think their selection has been quite good and their discounts have been quite good and uh, kind of being able to purchase Saint Laurent even with their discount codes and such. Before, I have no idea if that's, that's the case anymore. I think not because I believe Saint Laurent took them off of this like discount. But anyway, so I've made really great purchases from Matches Fashion. So when I got an email from them saying that they have this selection of items for minus 20%, I did go and have a look and then time went on and they send a new email that now the discount is 25% and uh, I was already considering quite a few things with the 20% discount and now this 25 really was pushing me to buy something and I think the biggest driver right now for me was actually the summer. We're going to Greece in a few weeks and obviously me being me and kind of materialistic and I don't know, planning on what to take with me to the trip. I was like, yes, um, I've been thinking about a white bag and a new summery bag and all of these things. So I went and looked and um yeah there were a few bags that i was like really considering to buy for 25 percent off now i want to state here that i have no idea if that discount is any more valid so feel free to go to matches website and check if they still have it going on because i'm not connected or affiliated with that, with that company in any way it was just me as a consumer receiving a regular newsletter with with this info so i have no idea if it's still going on but if it is feel free to check it out but there were uh, quite many things and i have to say that there were reasons why i didn't pull the trigger obviously but one thing was that i still have no idea is about the return policy because what if their financial situation really changes am i able to return them will i get my money if i don't like like them and so on so that was like on back of my mind and probably it would work fine but they actually did update their terms with this kind of disclaimer that uh, before a certain date like purchased items did not 
they were not valid to be returned anymore so that kind of got me a bit hesitant so if you go shopping please have a look but anyway so of course there were other reasons because if i would have loved a handbag i would have bought it because why would i have returned it so i did resist a few items and let's just like start looking and start talking about the bags the first bag that i was really tempted was this loewe bag i unfortunately don't remember the name right now but it will be here somewhere and like this was sold out already before it got to minus 25 percent so i could have bought this for 25 20 percent discount and i thought that was amazing and by the way they had puzzle bags and flamenco clutches and all that also included in this so they had like that's what kind of got me concerned that they are clearly like <laughs> removing their stock let's see what happens but i was so tempted in getting this because the price point to begin with is quite good and then getting 20 percent off it would have been great and i was already seeing myself walking in the like narrow streets of santorini and wearing this bag with my white linen dress and living my best life kind of thing and then that kind of stopped me of like what how often would i really use this like i'm i cannot buy that type of bag just for a trip to Greece or just for a few days in the summer like there needs to be a purpose and I already do have my Loewe basket bag in the white leather trimming which I love and I probably will give in to myself to buy another basket bag a bigger sized one because I have noticed that I wear the Loewe one quite a lot and yet it doesn't really when I need a bigger bag it doesn't fit the need so i will probably allow myself to get a bigger one so there is no way i would need a third like purely summer based bag right well the problem is that i was going back and forth and back and forth and then it got out of stock and that was like amazing because i kind of forgot about it and that's that's the one one clear sign that i did good in that sense but um the second bag category that i was really scouting was a white bag i made a video of how i'm really kind of stuck with the idea of having a white bag and i will link the video here in case you want to give me advice but of course i did filter their bags with the color white and there were two bags that kind of popped up with that and uh, the first one was the um totems t-lock clutch in this like creamy white with silver like oh my god that combination was beautiful i think the bag in general is priced with 790 euros so it's not expensive and then that went to the 25 percent discount and i was like i'm gonna get it and i showed it to my husband and he really liked the kind of unique shape of this but when i watched some videos and uh kind of read reviews people were saying that the closing mechanism can be a bit tedious and like can get annoying uh because especially when you're trying to close it like if you don't get it there it, it could be a hassle so that made me really consider if that is where i want to go with this white bag situation because the white bag i used to own was a bit cumbersome with the opening and I ended up selling it. So like, is that the way to go? I don't know. So I didn't pull the trigger and I'm still to this day kind of like, should I have ordered it to test it out? But if there is hesitation, then probably the answer is no. If I would be super excited, then I would already have ordered it with the 20% probably. <laughs> so maybe I kind of dodged a bullet with that one. But it is gorgeous though, and it wouldn't be something that everyone recognizes, yet at least with the videos I watched and the reviews, people were saying about the quality, the leather, the kind of composition of the bag, everything great. Uh, one thing also, the um, crossbody strap apparently is a bit short, so that would have also been like a boob lifter for me, I guess. So maybe that's not the white bag for me then i stumbled across this white bag and i was so intrigued 
of the Demilier's Vancouver bag for so long time that I actually even have also made a video of what I discovered and my concerns about the quality and the concerns haven't really gone anywhere. But then I found this in white for 25% off and I was really thinking that is 300 euros for a bag that's quality is not like the same as vintage Louis Vuitton or vintage Chanel or something like that like is it is does it have to be that good or something but there is just something that stopped me again for getting this bag and I would assume that it wouldn't be my everyday bag so the kind of being a bit more delicate to use wouldn't be a problem in that case but I guess it is the clasp but it's just like so big and visible on the bag that it just threw me off a bit so I did also turn my back on that and I am quite happy about it I don't know, I guess I'm just seeing the Melier everywhere and it's kind of getting to my head that it is a good bag and it probably is, but it's a great bag for someone else and not to me. Then I went to look on sunglasses and they had a really lovely amount of different, different styles and brands and so on. And uh, they had these Celine kind of square shaped aviator style. So I can't wear regular aviators. It just does not suit my face. It, that's just it. I have come to terms with it. That's fine. But there is still something that kind of pulls me in and they had these like more square edgy style. But then I realized that the only reason why I was really like drawn to these specific sunnies is the fact that they would have come with that like leathery sunglasses pouch that Celine has with some of their sunglasses, not all. And I was like, I'm not gonna pay hundreds of euros for me to get that like sunglasses leather pouch. And I'm still quite sure that that was the main reason why I was really considering. And that's not a good reason. So I realized I have, I have enough sunglasses for my need so that I don't have to make like surprise purchases of new ones. I, if I buy new, I want to be there, I want to test them out, I want to really fall in love with them, then buy, instead of just ordering for fun. Like, that's not me, so that's that's it. Kind of moving on from Mattress Fashion and their discounts, even though this brand was also part of it, but I've been considering it for a while, and it's the Dragon Diffuser bags. Oh my god, I hope that is the name. Well, it will be on the screen if it's not and they're kind of woven, woven style bags. And I've been like looking at different sizes and different colors. And I even thought that this could be like the white bag for me because they are in the hundreds category. And then I was just thinking that would I actually use this enough? Like for me to put that type of money, I could have, I could buy a Polen bag, which I have a few already on my wish list. And for me, they would be more versatile than this. So then I kind of moved on and it's still kind of coming back and back into my mind from time to time. But still so far, I have been able to keep away from it, although they are beautiful and they have this really like summery. I can see like them styled with a lovely way during a hot summer day and ah, oh, but then I'm thinking like my basket bags are for that purpose, so I don't need them. I just I don't need them. Okay, moving on to my other obsession that I currently seem to have, and that is to buy a new card holder. Like, why? I don't need one, but I want one. Like, that's just stuck somewhere that I want one. And I want some color into it. I have uh, my kind of uh, sea light blue colored card holder from Louis Vuitton, which is a very neutral one, but it only has like one slot on each side and then in the middle. So it's kind of small-ish and I, I can't lie, I have considered selling it, but I haven't yet because I love the color. So mm, I'm, yeah, I don't know what to do because if I would let it go, I would never probably get that color again, but I love the color. So I don't know, but I haven't used it in probably a few years. So yeah, I need to think about what to do, but 
I want a new one. And then I also have this kind of very flat Celine that is in the chalk color, I think, and it has more card slot and a zipper and kind of fits more. But I, I kind of want a colorful one. And this time colorful doesn't mean like navy blue or something, more like pink or purple or even light blue. Like why would I consider another light blue one when I have one? Like, okay, my mind is off, but maybe you get the, the drift. So I've been looking and um, I've been looking on some pre-owned sites. I've been looking at some Chanel ones. Like why would I do that? Um, why would I need to pay? premium for a Chanel one, well, mind is crazy, but I've been looking at them, um, as mentioned from some pre-owned sites, and I already, like, was considering buying, I think it was, like, a beige, or oh, a very colorful one, I know, but then I was like, why would I just suddenly be okay to throw away 400 euros without actually considering, because with those items, like, if they pop up, you need to be fast, because someone else probably will be. So yeah, I've uh, I've been looking at some Chanel ones and just like not bought them and I don't know which Chanel I'm getting really confused of can I trust pre-owned. Um, I am more into like the kind of more business, uh, like proper professional businesses who have their own web stores where they sell them and, and so on where you can return them if you don't like them or whatever. So that's kind of where I'm currently looking at more than the previous one called Vestier Collective, which I don't know how I feel about it because like it's obvious that there's going to be fakes on the platform. It's just not so obvious why they are treating users of the platform in such a way. So <laughs> I, I don't really know. I haven't like deleted my account from that platform yet, but I've noticed that I am looking elsewhere more and more. Um, although I did sell one thing on the platform just like a few weeks back and as a seller everything went okay again. So don't really, don't really know because I have heard horror stories from the seller's point of view as well. So I don't know, maybe I should make a video where I talk about what I think about the platform now because I made this one video of like the good, bad and the ugly of the platform and probably some things are still valid. There might have been a bit more horror stories popping up, so maybe I'll make a sequel of what I actually think about the platform now. Well, we'll see. Uh, let me know if you would be interested in that type of video. But all in all, I've been looking from some other sites than Vestir Collective, and I just there are many blacks out there. I don't want the black Chanel card holder, so mm, that has been like going, coming, going type of thing. And then I found myself from a crazy place because obviously like Celine, I love their stuff. So I've been looking at their card, card holders and there are many, but the colorful ones seem to be out of stock. So probably if there would be a proper boutique, they might have more blood. Well, anyway, and I am so stuck in the idea of that I want a colorful one that they brought out this light yellow, like beautiful light yellow card holder, which also has a zipper and it's like really pretty. The thing is, I don't have anything in yellow. This is a very pretty light yellow, but in general, that is not my vibe. Like yellow is not really something I am drawn to. So with this card holder, I'm a bit concerned that I am drawn to it because it would be a colorful one from Celine. So I have been like keeping my distance. And then I'm thinking like, well, maybe as my style changes, maybe I'm not so harsh on yellow anymore. Well, maybe I'm not, but I've had some very strong feelings about the color. So I don't really think that those have gone anywhere. But if this would come in a different color, not like tan or black that are out there, this would be beautiful. But so far, I have resisted. The final temptation, as, as I told you, there has been many things that I have been like resisting, so anti-buying. But in the hunt of this white bag, of course, I have been eyeing on some white Chanel bags because I love the vintage vibe and there are so many beautiful styles that they brought out previously um, that potentially I could see myself buying. But um, there is this one 
a professional luxury, pre-owned luxury store called Affordable Luxury. It's a Swedish company. They have a store in Stockholm and so on, but they also have an online site, which I can browse even from my own home. And they had this white vintage Chanel wallet on chain with this kind of like, is it embossed? double c's on the flap so it doesn't have like this type of closing but more like the big c's here on tonal so white on white and they were selling it for such a great price it was less than a thousand euros and in the photos it looks great inside it was a bit dirty but still like from the exterior point of view it looked great i have restored vintage bags before with my cobbler so i was really confident that that wouldn't be a problem but i was like i just bought a chanel walk just like just bought one why would i go there again and then i was thinking like this vintage look would i still prefer this type of thing like i don't know and with this bag actually time ran out because someone else bought it i was looking at it for maybe two weeks uh, on their website daily so it wasn't like someone bought it immediately i went to check it out <laughs> daily for a few weeks so it was there and just like i think it was this morning i checked and someone had bought it so maybe it's a good thing but it is something that i feel that maybe got away but i still wanted to include it here because i did resist i did consider i am improving i feel like uh so i'm not like impulsively buying uh just out of fomo or something like that i'm really considering and that is why i wanted to put out this video have the reason to talk about luxury stuff but also to process on that is sometimes good to consider to think through and sometimes you might miss out on something but are you really missing out on something am i missing out on something we'll see uh how this chanel walk will end will i hunt it down for a more expensive price and good it hopefully not but at least i am proud of myself for resisting the urge to buy okay that was my first anti-haul of this channel what do you think and as mentioned if you have anything of these items please feel free to recommend or talk me out of them and continue the conversation down in the comments thank you for watching see you in my next video bye